With machine learning and computer vision, we're able to imagine some pretty impressive realities. Deep learning is disrupting virtually every sector and level of industry worldwide. The impact on the consumer market is huge, and retail companies are really seeking to leverage and capitalize on every new technological trend. The stakes to innovate are high, and they're driven even higher by the Amazon effect. Amazon holds approximately 50% of the U.S. e-commerce market and is now extending its dominance into disrupting physical retail through AI and automation. It's no surprise that other retailers are attempting to do the same. It is the modern-day battle of David and Goliath, the underdogs versus the giants. Automation frees up time, and in the current economy of uber convenience, time is the ultimate asset. This is the real value automation brings. On December 5th, 2016, Amazon opened its first cashless store to employees only. On January 22nd, 2018, Amazon took its innovations to the next level and unveiled Amazon Go to the public. Since then, the company has opened six stores with three more on the way. AI and automation can truly make a brick and mortar store intelligent. A truly intelligent store with connected devices becomes a means of data acquisition. A network of intelligent brick and mortar stores becomes a vast data acquisition platform. As Earth's most customer centric company and one of the largest data acquisition platforms in the world, Amazon understands the above statement clearly. This is how Amazon is able to dominate the competition data driven insights and data fuel decision making. Amazon is able to keep its focus on the customer because Amazon can predict through its large data sets exactly what the customer wants. With its current reach and the largest volume of automated stores in the US so far, Amazon Go is able to strategically target physical retail. The company's recent acquisition of Whole Foods strengthens its plan. It allows them to sell niche, exclusive and proprietary products. In the age of super convenience, Amazon Go can potentially create everything modern day customers want. Convenience, personalization, and incredible customer experiences at desired prices. How can other physical retailers possibly compete? When other retailers were practically throwing their data away, Amazon already had a strategic data plan. The Amazon effect has put several companies out of business and is threatening several more. While the focus for Amazon Go is currently on food and convenience store type items, there's no guarantee that it'll stay this way. Jeff Bezos is relentless. Just check out relentless.com. It redirects to Amazon. As I mentioned before, today's consumers want convenience, personalization, and incredible experiences at desired prices. We gravitate to whichever company offers this, whether or not it's Amazon. It just so happens that Amazon is the company that currently does this best, for now. Amazon has extensive experience in e-commerce, the game is still early for automation and physical retail. AI and new technologies are still going through a lot of iterations and developments. This leaves massive opportunities for innovation by existing giants and new entrants. On November 6, Sam's Club opened its first scan and go store in Dallas, Texas. Unlike Amazon Co, the store itself isn't exactly automated. That is, it's not exactly using intelligent connected devices or AI. Instead of using a compilation of sensor fusion, machine learning, and computer vision like Amazon does, the approach at Sam's Club Now is a little more hands-on. Shoppers at Sam's Club Now must use their phones to scan prices as they make their ways through the store. In the age of extreme convenience and compared to just walkout technology, scan and go technology seems a little bit of an inconvenience. There is one way, however, Sam's Club can leverage on this. One word, gamification. Mobile gaming is a multi-billion dollar industry, and with recent advances in AR, augmented reality, for smartphones, Sam's Club now can turn shopping into the ultimate game. They've already discussed turning shopping into a virtual treasure hunt in their promo video. Imagine if Sam's Club now could build a model like Pokemon Go or geocaching. Shopping could become even more addictive than it already is. Underdogs and startups. What if you're not Sam's Club, Walmart, or Amazon Go? Luckily, there's an approach here too, and it gives an opportunity for underdogs to take on giants in the game of automated physical retail. There are now a host of emerging startups that offer complete automation for brick and mortar retailers worldwide. Many of these startups already have stores that function as innovation labs. One startup worthy of singling out is Standard Cognition. 
Standard Cognition does things a little bit differently. While many of the other startups use a combination of sensors, computer vision, and machine learning to automate their source, SE uses almost exclusively machine learning. This is a significant advantage, even compared to Amazon Go. Whereas Amazon Go needs to use hundreds of cameras working in tandem for just walkout technology, SC only needs around 27 for a store of approximately the same size. This makes it easy for SC's future customers to automate their stores. The infrastructure isn't only simple, but it allows for increased flexibility of retail displays. Retail is dynamic, and customers want changing environments. SC's minimally invasive infrastructure allows customers to rearrange their stores quickly. That's not the only advantage this startup offers. Standard Cognition is able to identify and keep track of its customers by gate recognition as opposed to facial recognition. Standard Cognition doesn't store any biometric data. Their customers only have access to general consumer data. This initially doesn't seem like a big difference, but in a world where personal data is a valuable asset that can be used to exploit customers, the implications are huge. Consider the continued impact of the Facebook Cambridge Analytica breach. SC already has attracted a number of clients in the US and has extended its reach into international markets. Standard Cognition just received 40 million in investment from Initialize Capital and to date has raised 51.2 million in capital. With seven co-founders, the startup may be able to scale really quickly. The startup already has deals with Japan's Paltech and plans to deploy its systems to 3,000 of its stores by the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. With these stats, Standard Cognition might be Amazon Go's most serious competitor yet. Or so it might seem. While Amazon Go and Standard Cognition have made the most progress in the US thus far, there are many companies rising up worldwide. Israel Strigovision recently signed a deal to automate 272 locations of a popular Israeli supermarket chain. China's Bingo Box, on the other hand, is quickly scaling across Asia. Bingo Box already has hundreds of active locations. One thing is certain, the race to automate is extremely competitive. Amazon Go will continue to innovate. The company plans to open 3,000 stores by 2020. The only way to win is to bring new ideas to market and scale quickly. The future of retail is bright. Shopping is about to become a much more engaging and valuable experience.